morning, good morning. We are ready to roll. Just did my pre-trip and everything. And this is what I was telling you guys about yesterday, about a big truck stop. A little bit of a pullover area. And it was really, really, really cold this morning. Minus 32 Celsius. Yes. Now oh, that is cold. Yeah. But it says that uh, in Alberta it's supposed to be not as cold. So we are heading that direction. So we should be running into warmer weather by the end of the day. Which will be nice for a change. Yeah. Continue on this road for 68 kilometers. This is uh, Langenberg, Saskatchewan. Pretty much the first little town you come into when you come into Saskatchewan. We have about uh, 67 kilometers to go and we will be in uh, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Looks like this guy is going to make a car delivery up here. That pickup looks pretty white, eh? Everything is frozen. Even my gearbox don't want to shift right right now. Because it's frozen. Yeah, but we'll get it rolling here and then everything will warm up, right? Yeah, there's a sign. Well, that sign says 71. My, my GPS says 67 till we are on Highway 10 and that is basically Yorkton already so yeah looks like it's going to be a beautiful day the sun is starting to peek through yeah at least it's not blowing snow this morning and today we have plans to meet up with a friend of mine yeah I talked to him last night yet willing to meet up with me and uh, so we will do that I think we'll meet up with him and Lloyd Minister yeah so let's put the hammer down and make some miles make some money yeah today is Sunday February 22nd pretty much exactly one week and February is over. This is Yorkton, Saskatchewan. For those of you that love seeing Canadian cities, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Not much to see right now anyways, but basically just going through uh, Yorkton. Just a uh, little bit down the road here is where we got to turn left onto Highway 16. So we're sort of going around the city. But yeah, that's alright. They just built this uh, Days Inn Hotel here to the right here last year. So that's a brand new uh, hotel for you guys that uh, are sort of a little bit familiar with uh, Yorkton. Here I am going through Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Yeah. In 400 meters, turn we right to on make our turn here right away. North Highway 12 North Trans Canada Highway. Yeah, be quiet, RJ. I'm talking. Now. Turn right on Highway 16 Come on now. West Highway 11 North Highway 12 North Trans Canada Highway. You be quiet now. You let me talk now. It's my turn. Here we go. Anyways. I wanna go on to Highway 16 West. Yeah. Shooting to go for uh, Lloyd Minister. That's where me and my buddy have planned to meet up today. And you might wonder who I'm calling RJ. We uh, sort of had a uh, video where I asked you guys to name my GPS. 
and uh, it wasn't that many people that commented on my G GPS quest for a name but I had a few of them named uh, RJ or JR or whatever and I like RJ that, that sounds pretty good so uh, I figured I would call it that so yeah So if you hear me call, uh, say, RJ be quiet, that means my GPS. And it's around McNally GPS. Oh, look at this, man. Look at that four-wheeler there. I don't know if you can see it, but he passed his exit on the left there. And now he's backing her up. Yeah, look at that. He's backing up to go back right this four-wheeler right here. Ha, ha, ha. He's backing up to go. <laughs> Or she, whatever it is, backing up to go back on the exit there. Man, people are stupid sometimes. Instead of going to the next exit and turn around, come back. You know? Just what people will do, just so they don't have to go turn around. Yeah, well. Yeah, so we're just about uh, going the left on Yep. Anyways, we'll put the hammer down and keep her rolling. Well, guys, we are entering, uh, well, just about to enter Alberta. But believe it or not, right here at these orange posts is the state uh, or borderline for the province. On this side it's Saskatchewan, Lloyd Minister Saskatchewan. On this other side. Crossing border, entering Alberta. There you have Changing it. Changing time zone. Entering Alberta. Yeah. Just about a kilometer down the road here. This is where we have the Husky truck stop. That's where I'm gonna go to. In one kilometer, turn left on 57 Avenue. And my buddy says he's sitting there waiting for me. So we will go there and meet up with him and see what he's up to these days. I haven't seen him in a while. So uh, I guess we'll see you over there. I am just exiting uh, Lloyd Minister Town. And here you can see the Alberta oil tanks here you get a glimpse of the uh, oil boom that they have up here in Alberta yeah well I had uh, dinner with my friend up there and uh, we had talked about uh, making a video together I know I even said it to you guys earlier but he backed out of the deal uh, I guess he uh, wasn't ready yet but that's okay he said he will do it at a later time which is okay with me but that's the way it goes you know not everybody is comfortable in front of the camera and, you know when I asked him there a day ago he said yes and so now he said can we do it at another day so I guess he just wasn't ready yet. That's all right. I know I was. I wasn't uh, very good at the beginning either, or very comfortable at the, being in front of the camera, you know. But now I'm totally relaxed. Usually, comfortable in front of the camera. But not everybody is. But that's okay. So we'll just have to do another day. Well, we got about uh, 230 kilometers to go up to Edmonton. It's so about 250 kilometers to go where I got to do my delivery. Okay, I'll probably just be spending the night at the Flying J on this side of uh, Edmonton. And then I'll have to go to the uh, south side of Edmonton tomorrow. I'll do my delivery there tomorrow morning. Yeah. 
but he says it's nice and sunshine all day, dry roads all the way. He came from BC, British Columbia, and he said even up there in the mountains, it was good weather up there, so, and it was nice and warm, he said it was like plus one yesterday, Celsius, so that's, that's good, at least I know I'll have good roads. Anyways, we'll keep it rolling, see what the rest of the day will bring us. Well guys, here we are in Sherwood, Alberta at the Flying J. Well, we are just about to turn on to the Flying J yard. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we're going to be spending a night if we can find a parking lot up here or a parking spot I mean But it's Canada. Usually the guys just park wherever there's a parking spot We'll see if we can make one If that's the case we'll be parking somewhere and then We'll call her a day Yeah Let's see where we can find a spot or if we can find a spot. I really hope I can find a spot up here. Man, that looks pretty packed in here. Yikes. Yeah, that's going to be hard finding a parking spot in here it looks like. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We just have to try and do our best, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's go see if we can find ourselves a parking spot. Well, I guess we could park right up here. Hmm. I guess we'll just do this right in here. Oh, looks like we should have no problem doing that. So we'll park her and then we'll be back. Alrighty. I am in Edmonton, Alberta. And I'm done for today. But I got a uh, personal email uh, a couple of days ago. From a uh, subscriber from the UK. He's asked me to uh, talk about certain things. And so I figured I'd give him a shout out. His name is Tom. Thank you for writing me such a kind uh, email. I won't disclose uh, all the things that you've written me, but uh, I will try to address some of the uh, questions that you have uh, asked me, and I'll try and answer them as to, to the best of my knowledge and my ideas and stuff like that. So here we go. You asked to uh, about Kindersley and uh, if I could give any kind of feedback on him and unfortunately I can't really give any feedback on him because I never worked for them but I have never heard anything bad about him and I asked a friend of mine about them and uh, all he said is uh, he heard that is a good company to work for and they got good benefits and stuff like that but don't take my word for it because I do not know I've never worked for them so I have no clue but you can probably read up a lot on the internet and stuff like that so uh, I have no idea or maybe try and find a driver that works for them uh, so I'm sorry I can't fully answer that question to you but I do not know all the answers so and uh, also on the uh, brake light uh, on the especially on the LED lights I did try that theory there a couple of days ago with the WC4 uh, D40 and that didn't work no not at all so, that just did not work not one little bit I even tried it on the traditional lights it didn't work on there either no nope. so I had no luck with that so we can put that to rest and you also asked me to uh, give you an idea on what's required here uh, to drive in winter and if you want to go to British Columbia you are required to have a set of tire chains with you uh, I believe it's from October 1st till the April uh, 30th that's usually the time that they require you to have that and BC 
and uh, I would say for driving in snow and ice and stuff like that I would say the most part is uh, use your common sense uh, slow down when it looks like it's bad especially around the corners and stuff like that and uh, if you know if you just don't feel comfortable driving uh, use common sense stop you know uh, up here in North America we don't hold that against the driver if they don't feel safe to continue it is certainly in their wishes to uh, to pull over and uh, it, it's much better idea in my opinion and uh, you know what else did you have in there um, would have to look all that stuff up again but I know you asked me a lot of questions in there and I'm going to try and answer as many as I possibly can but if I don't remember all the questions I can't can't obviously answer all of them but anyways I'll try and uh, look up to see what I haven't answered and then try and answer that maybe on a different uh, different video or whatever oh yeah and you also said that the uh, trailers are longer here yes they are 53 foot and most of them for the most part uh, our roads are pretty wide and you know you have lots of room to get in there with 53 foot trailers but New York City isn't that uh, that good but uh, most of the other places are pretty good and stuff like that so so yeah I mean I thank you for joining my channel and uh, stuff like that so hope you will uh, see this video and uh, Hopefully I've been able to answer some of your questions at least. And also uh, 42 North West or North Side I mean 42 North Side. He also, he also asked me uh, to maybe do some tips on, uh, on for the four wheelers. Uh, like spring is coming up here pretty soon and he said uh, if I could maybe do a video on uh, giving four wheelers tips on how they should behave around trucks and uh, I think one of the worst things I see out here is four-wheelers cutting big trucks up off and uh, I see that a lot people uh, especially on the interstates or whatever on big highways you know you're going your 60 mile 100 kilometers an hour or 62 mile an hour actually is 100 kilometers an hour uh, you go down the highway and uh, all of a sudden somebody you know it might be three four lanes wide all the way from the left come swinging right in front of you and they want to take that exit it's like they completely forgot that the exit was there that they got to take right and then you got to slam on your brakes and then trying to avoid from hitting them and that's uh, one of the worst ideas that you can do or or get in front of uh, a big semi truck and then slam on your brakes that's a very very bad idea because it takes us way longer to stop than uh, than it does a car and also tailgating we do not like to be tailgated if you can't see my mirror then I cannot see you behind me and that is a very bad idea to do that and also if there is a two lane uh, like that's a two lanes go one direction and if you stay right beside me you, you don't pass me you stay right beside me that is uh, that is absolutely dangerous that's not a good idea to do that at least in my opinion it isn't that's uh, and it's very annoying to us truckers if you do that so uh, anyways that's enough of that all that the whole spiel I don't want to make this video too super long so we'll try and do more answers on the next videos you know so hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and uh, if you did please give me the thumbs up share the video subscribe if you haven't already the subscribe button is down there below and there's also a comment section down below so where you can leave comments if you uh, like something or didn't like something or whatever you have on your mind leave it down below in the description box and I will try and answer that as much as I can I don't as I said I don't know all the answers to everything but I will certainly try and do my best to do that oh yeah and also the guy from the UK Tom uh, you also said about uh, leaving more tags or, or or use different kind of tags to get more attention on YouTube and I did some researching on that and uh, 
if the tag does not um, have anything to do with my video that say if I like I do trucking videos and I put a tag in there that say for UK trucking uh, that doesn't have anything to do with me because then I'm a North American driver and if I put that tag in there eventually YouTube is going to see that and they consider that a spam because that is trying you trying to get on top of the list of YouTube and that is actually illegal on YouTube here in North America so we cannot do that we can't use uh, tags that aren't related to your to your videos because that's considered spam up here so uh, I can't do that so uh, well I guess I can but then I'm risking my channel being shut down and I do not want to do that because you guys want to view my videos right so anyways that should about do it for today thanks for watching have a great uh, rest of the day or whatever it is for you great night whatever it is evening so uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video I have five videos.